All right, it's time for a good old fashioned haul. Oh, let me hide my address. I got my Sephora order in from the Sephora sale. And at the same time, Ulta was doing a sale like they usually do to compete with Sephora. So I also, so I also made an Ulta order. Welcome if you are new here, my name is Rachel. And if you're not new here, thank you so much for coming back. Let's go through all the products that I picked up from the holiday sales that were happening at Ulta and Sephora. I'm gonna be honest with you, I didn't pick up a ton. The box is kind of deceiving. The Ulta box, they gave me way too big of a box for what I ordered. Not sure why, but I did definitely pick up a lot of repurchases, restocking on things that I ran out of, things that I use all the time. And that's typically what I use the Sephora sale for because 20% is a good amount, but I don't think it's like anything too crazy. So. Let's start off with what I got at Sephora. By the way, I'm gonna link all of these products down below and I would love to know while I'm going through this, what did you pick up from either Ulta or Sephora lately? Or did you skip on the sale? I know when I've asked that in the past, I've gotten mixed answers. Some people saying they're completely skipping the sale. Some people saying they're buying a lot and everything in between. So I would love to know your answer. So the first thing is at Sephora, it was my birthday month in October. So I picked up the birthday gift. There were several different options. And I think this one was exclusive. No, it, it, it's not exclusive to Rouge. This just says Beauty Insider. So this is the Patrick Ta little kit. And there are two products in it the Travel Size Major Brow Lamination Gel and the Major Glow Lip Shine. So this was the obviously the one that called to me the most. That's why I picked it up. The other one I was considering, I think there was one from Way. I really like Way's products, but the thing that sold me on this is the lip gloss. I do own one of these Patrick Ta lip glosses and it is amazing. It's one of my favorite lip glosses. It has like a cooling mint smell and feel, not burning nothing like that. And they all have like these really beautiful sparkly elements to it, just so pretty. This one is in the shade She's Expensive and it is just like almost a clear base with a champagne sparkle. Love, love his lip gloss formula. I've not tried like his plumping gloss formula. If you have, let me know. Is it like burning? Cause if that's the case, I don't want it, but is it like cooling pump plumping? That I can get down with. And then the lamination gel, I actually have a full size one that I did buy, I wanna say a handful of months ago. That was my first one that I ever tried and I'm almost done with it. And it is gonna go in my next speed reviews, but let me give you a little preview of my thoughts. I think it's good. It's not my favorite clear brow gel. My favorite clear brow gel is the Anastasia one. I just feel like it holds so well without being like overly plasticky looking. This one is good and we'll have to see about the brush. The brush, yeah, it's the same brush. The brush on it is a little small for my liking. Like I have pretty thick full brows and I just don't love how tiny and the shape of the wand on this one, so. But I will definitely use it for traveling purposes. I'm really happy to have it. It's not a bad brow gel. I like it, it's just not my favorite. But I was very excited to get this little birthday kit. Then I restocked on, and I've already used this a couple of times, my favorite moisturizer, both daytime and nighttime. It is more meant for nighttime, but this is the Polish Choice Clear Oil-Free Moisturizer. It's for blemish prone skin, which is me. I break out with a lot of moisturizers. My skin is very, very sensitive. My pores get clogged very easily. And this one I feel like is perfect. It is definitely more of a nighttime moisturizer in the sense that it is a pretty intense moisture. It's not like lightweight on the skin or anything like that. A Little bit goes a long way. And so I was literally running out of this when the sale dropped. So it was perfect timing. I love this moisturizer. If you have acne prone skin and you want something that is really moisturizing, especially coming into this time of year, highly suggest this Paula's Choice one. In the sale overall, I picked up two new foundations, which for me is interesting, but I have my declutter series coming. I'm gonna declutter, I would say 80% of my foundations because A, like I said, my skin is so sensitive. Most foundations break me out. There's only a handful that I really reach for consistently. And B, I just have a lot of very old foundations that have sat there for years that just need to go. 
So there were two foundations that I picked up. The first one I got from Sephora. This is the Fenty Beauty Ease Drop. The original Ease Drop foundation, I got mine in the shade five. This comes really on recommendation from Aniela Kanique. This She talks about it all the time, how it's one of her favorite foundations. And I did look up like the ingredients and the claims and it seems like it's perfect for me. It says light to medium coverage for all skin tones, blends and blurs to instant perfection light as air. And from what I understand, it is more matte leaning, which is my preferred finish, like matte, satin matte. I don't go any dewier than that. But this looks really pretty. I love the packaging. I love how like small it is. It's a little squeezy tube that's made of plastic. And this shade looks pretty good for me right now in the winter time. This is five, which is described as a light medium with warm yellow undertones. I am really like a yellow olive undertone and there were no real other options for me. Yeah, I don't even think they have any olive undertones. Oh, they do, but it's deep. It's when it gets deeper that the olive undertones start coming in. So light medium, actually, I feel like this is a little bit lighter than a light medium. I would describe this as a light. So the shades tend to run a little light in my opinion, but I've only just swatched it on my hand. I haven't put it on my face yet, but I'm very excited to try out that foundation. The next thing I picked up and I, typically do pick up one of these every time the sale comes around. It's one of like the Beauty Blender gift sets. I am a Beauty Blender stan. I love Beauty Blenders. They're my favorite sponge. I just love them. I feel like there's quote dupes out there that I've tried that just aren't dupes. They're good. Like I like the Shop Masse Paw Paw sponge. I've owned several of them. I think they're a good alternative, but I just love the regular Beauty Blender. It's my favorite. So whenever I can get a deal on them, I will. And it does come with two of their like solid cleansers, which I love to bring on vacation when I travel. So it's three Beauty Blenders and two soaps to clean them with. So I'm super excited to have more of these. And I, like they came out with a gift set that has how many, 12, 15 of them? That's a little much for me, but if I can get three, how much was this? for $50, I think that's a pretty good deal because they are $20 each. So it's $60 worth of a sponge, plus I'm getting two of the cleansers. So for me, it's worth it. These are just my favorite. Another thing that I picked up, which is a repurchase for me, is the Charlotte Tilbury Lip Cheat Lip Liner in the shade Iconic Nude. It is my favorite lip liner of all time. I discovered this for the first time, I wanna say last year, and it actually is what I'm wearing on my lips underneath a gloss today. And mine is down to its little nub. So I thought this is a good opportunity for me to pick it up. It is just the perfect nude. My lips slightly deeper, neutral, goes with everything type of lip liner. The formula is magnificent. It's gliding without being too creamy. It lasts a pretty long time. I just love it. It's my favorite lip liner. So I was running out, it's down to the nub. I had to pick it up. And then the last thing I picked up from Sephora is another repurchase again. I was literally just running out of this. This is the Inky List Oat Cleansing Balm. This is my cleansing balm of choice. I am currently using the Milk Makeup one because I did get it sent in PR, so of course I'm gonna use it. But I, honestly, I still, I still like this one more. The Milk one is good. Like there's nothing wrong with it particularly, except for like, it's in a jar and I just don't love jar packaging for cleansing balms. Like getting my hands in there with makeup, it makes the, balm, like turn gray, brown, gross. And I'm always fearful if I do use it in the shower, if water gets into it, it's gonna dissolve the cleansing balm. This, I just love squeezy tube packaging when it comes to a cleansing balm. It's just my preferred. And this one is very, very, very affordable. It retails for $11.99. I will say I have to cut this open when it gets to about a third left because it won't squeeze out all the way. So that's kind of unfortunate, but for $11.99, I'll deal with it. And also it does leave somewhat of a film on your face after using it, but I always go in with a second cleanse anyway. So I'm not really that bothered by it. So I definitely wanted to re-up on that. So that's all I got from Sephora. I mean, all I got, that's a good amount of products, but I definitely didn't go overboard, which I was happy about. And like I said, I don't typically really like use the sale to go crazy anymore like I used to. The only new product that I picked up was the Fenty Beauty Foundation, but this is something I've been wanting for a really long time. And I've been thinking about this purchase for probably a couple of years. Ulta kind of did me dirty. I will be honest with you. I ordered a handful of things and it came in two separate shipments and both shipments were missing products. So I had to contact customer service, which 
they were very helpful and super good. Like if you've used Ulta customer service before, you know, like they're super quick to respond. They replace the items without asking questions. Like they're very, very good about that stuff. All that to say, that's why this video took so long to get up is because I was waiting for those other things to get to me. So finally they're here. So the first thing that I ordered that came missing was I ordered another set of the Kitsch recycled plastic claw clips. These are my favorite. So I first got this that was missing a third one. <laughs> and again, they were really nice. Like they didn't ask me to send this back. They didn't ask for a picture, nothing. So I actually now have five, which I love. These are my favorite claw clips. I love, first of all, how neutral the colors are. They just go with a lot and they are good because I have very fine hair. I have, thankfully, my hair has grown back. I, I lost a lot of hair when I had my hair extensions removed a couple of years ago, but my hair is still fine. Like I need a claw clip that closes really tight. Otherwise my hair will fall out. And especially with my hair being somewhat short, these ones really do the good job of holding my hair tight. Now I will say they don't last forever. Like I, I've had several of these over the years. I think, I think maybe I had them for about a year and a half ish, two years and a couple of them started to break. So they're not the most expensive claw clips in the world, but if you have fine hair and you're looking for like a really good claw clip that's on a budget. I love these. And they also come in other colors. Like if you don't want these neutral colors, they do come in other colors as well. The second foundation that I bought is the Too Faced Born This Way Matte Foundation. So I did actually have a deluxe sample size of this that I got a while ago and I completely used it up and I was completely obsessed with it. So I decided to go for it and buy the full size. This is in the shade light beige. I will say the color is not absolutely perfect for me. It is a little orange, but again, they don't have like an olive undertone that's a light to light medium in this, unfortunately. So this is considered a light with a neutral undertone. I, I don't think it's neutral. I think it's a little more on the warm side because there is an orangey undertone, but if I blend it down my neck, it's totally fine. But the finish of this is so beautiful. It's medium, probably buildable. I mean, I don't really love to wear a full coverage foundation, but I get a good medium coverage with this and it is matte, but not drying matte. But again, this is coming from someone with oily skin. So if you have dry skin and you've used this, let us know in the comments your experience, but I think it's like the most beautiful matte finish that lasts a really long time, beautiful medium coverage. It's, it's a gorgeous foundation. I absolutely love it. I also repurchased my favorite lash glue. This is the Lily Lashes Brush On Lash Adhesive. It is a clear lash adhesive. It's my favorite lash glue, like I just said. I've gone through quite a few different lash glues. My eyes are either sensitive or I have sort, some sort of allergy to something that is in a lot of lash glues. A few years ago, more than a few years ago now, I wanna say four or five years ago, I was using the House of Lashes lash glue and Listen, if you wanna wear your lashes for four days, sleep in them, go through a windstorm, go on a roller coaster, cry, and your lashes are still on, the House of Lashes glue is good for that. But it was giving my eyes like this red, puffy, itchy look. And I, for the longest time, could not figure out what it was. And through the process of elimination, I discovered it was that lash glue. And then I tried a few others. And then Samantha March is the one that turned me onto this. On her channel, she did say, she also is sensitive to lash glues and this one worked out great for her and I've not turned back since. It is a magnificent lash glue. It holds your lashes on well, not to the point where it's like gonna take days for it to get out of your lashes because that is a downside to the House of Lashes glue. It would stay in my lashes for days, but I feel secure and it doesn't bother my eyes most of all. And then the last thing I was waiting for to get to me for a really long time is this body wash. And this is from Tree Hut. I love Tree Hut. It's my favorite body care brand. I've owned so many of their products, so many of their scents. And I was wanting to try Ocean Glow. So I'm gonna smell it for the first time on camera with you so you can get my reaction. Mmm, mmm, that smells really good. Ooh, like fresh and a little sweet. Mmm, that smells so good. And this is their sparkling gel wash. I've owned like one of their sparkling ones before and it doesn't leave sparkles on you. I think it's more just like for the effect, like the look of it. It's cute, it's very 90s, right? But it doesn't leave a sparkle on me in particular. I'm so excited to have this. 
it smells divine. All right, and that is it for this haul video. I hope you enjoyed it. Let me know down below what you picked up from the sales that were at Ulta and Sephora lately, or if you skipped on it, let me know. I would love to know your thoughts because I love hearing from you. And if you did enjoy this video, please give it a thumbs up. That helps me out a lot when you do that. And if you're not already subscribed to my channel, I would love it if you would consider subscribing before you leave. I do upload videos weekly and I'd love to see you back on my channel again. I wanna thank you so much for watching and I will see you next time. Bye.